<laughs> no, 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 but you know, it's, uh, it's definitely like two very different machines and two very different styles of driving. So. Turek has the higher qualified driver is going to be initiating first as the lead car. It looks like Robbie, initi Robbie initiated almost at the exact same time. Here we go through the bank. Robbie taking a much higher line on the bank. Oh, oh big nice. crash from Robbie Nishida. Turk's going to have to ride out the rest of this this uh, run on his own. Still some pressure not to spin. Looks like he's able to keep drift through the entirety across the finish line. Good for Turk for being able to keep his composure, knowing that there's no car behind him. Well, I'm pretty sure Turk didn't know what was going you know, to happen this year run, but that was unfortunate. And I think it really started to go wrong from Robbie at the start of the bank. He did a big e-break entry, and Turk just came in with the clutch and kicked it in there and pulled some distance. And Ro I think Robbie was trying so hard to make up that distance that he gathered so much speed mid-bank that he just couldn't slow the thing down. So right here, you can see Turk pull away. Um, and like when you're in that chase car, you are just trying to catch that lead car as much as you can. But this is the problem with this track. I mean, it's it's, it's definitely not as fast as it used to be at that point. I mean, you, know, you used to come around this bank, maybe drop a gear and fire it into the power alley. But this later, much later outer clip has slowed down the transition from the bank to the infield so much. And like Robbie hit pretty hard. Looking down at his car here, his front left wheel is way back in the fender. It's not rolling. I mean, yeah, that's... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's Robbie's day is done. Well, you know, we'll see what they can do in five minutes, but it looks yeah. like a lot of suspension damage at least. Um, you know, maybe Turk, something you know. To, to mention too, I know Irwindale and Wall, they're not actually perfect circles. Do you right, know if yeah. this speedway um, I know from is driving even? it, it feels better. Irwindale, because obviously when they race regular circle track cars, they're, they're not up near the wall, so the you know, track design really is more focused on that middle to lower bank. When we run up by the wall, it's actually like, two semi-circles, I guess, meeting at a point. Yeah. Kind of like a football so shape. So it catches, yeah, you have to, you know, if you start high on the on Irondale's wall and hold the high line the whole way around, it's gonna, it catches up on you real quick. But this, I, from my experience, isn't quite as bad. Um, let's look at the replay again. Like, you know, Turk was just doing his thing, good line. Uh, Robbie was starting to reel him in, but I think it's that speed that inevitably just what, what hurt him? He tried to tried to scrub off the speed with some angle, but the, the rear bumper just caught it. And Turk actually had a really good line out on the on the yellow painted line where where the judges want to see it. Brings it in and does exactly what I said he was going to do. Yep. He's one of the few guys it really on that outside clip of maybe every two guys time. That can do it. It's just such an unnatural line. He put the right car out there. Turk nailed it. I mean, that was like an awesome lead run from Turk. You know. So we're probably going to move on to the next round after this. Give Robbie five minutes. Now, the five minutes doesn't start until the car is on the ground in the pit. So right. it's five minutes of working time on the car, not just five minutes of elapsed time. So they'll, they'll be given a chance to try and figure this out. I know the Achilles Tires team has some good mechanics over there. Yeah, Gary Castillo is uh, very experienced in building drift cars. Of course, and the, the, well, the good thing is that, you know, they can, you saw Robbie out having a quick look at the cars, so you can get on the radio, tell the guys what spares they need to have ready, and at least be as prepared as they can be to, uh, to get working on it. And if it is bolt-on stuff, the shock, lower control arm, knuckle maybe, they, you know, definitely could do that in five minutes, get the car back together. So let's hope they can do that, but, uh, you know, obviously, with, it, with an accident like that, Robbie would have it all to do um, in his lead run. And like we said before, the all you can do in your lead run is hope that the guy behind you makes mistakes. So it's a lot to ask. But it would be great to see him back out here and at least finish on a, on a high note. Let's talk about Turk's car a little bit. I think it's a love it or hate it livery. What's your opinion on it? Yeah, I'm not not, not sold sure. on it. I'm, yeah, I'm a bit of an 80s kid. You know what I mean? I, <laughs> I love 80s motorsport and um, 80s. Uh,